We begin with breaking news this evening. A gravit man is now behind bars on a list of federal charges after he breached the U.S. Capitol. Welcome to your five news. First at four, I'm Veronica Ortega. And I'm Erica Thomas. Richard Barnett was also photographed trespassing inside House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's office during the riots on Wednesday. Five News reporter Juliana Clipson is live at the Washington County Detention Center where he's being held tonight with the latest developments. Juliana. Yeah, guys, Richard Barnett was just one of 13 arrested today on federal charges in connection to the crimes that happened at the U.S. Capitol on Wednesday. Now, 60 year old Barnett was first take or first turned himself in in Benton County around 10 o'clock this morning. And then after that, he was transferred here to the Washington County Detention Center. Two days later, this photo surfaced of Barnett or two days after this photo surfaced of Barnett with his feet propped up on a desk inside Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Pelosi's office. He's now in custody on a list of charges, including theft of public record, violent entry and disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds. Five News spoke with Barnett exclusively the night of the riots, where he detailed his experience as a part of the mob that breached the Capitol and his time spent trespassing inside Speaker Pelosi's office. And she didn't appreciate the desk, so I thought I'd sit down and appreciate the desk. I threw my feet up on the desk. Now, according to the United States Justice Apart uh, Department, Barnett was actually supposed to have his first court appearance today. He was not able to get in today, but he is expected to have his first appearance here in Arkansas, and then he will be transferred to Washington, D.C. We're live in Fayetteville covering news where you live. Juliana Clipson, 5 News. All right, Juliana, thanks. Federal investigators are now asking the public to help identify other rioters in the photos and videos taken inside the Capitol Wednesday because they believe there could be more from our area. We have a full story on our website with those photos released by the FBI.